My darling son's gone off on some fool errand. I hope he returns in one piece. Oh no, he was such a good son, always thinking of his mother. Why did he have to go and do such a stupid thing? Thanks for bringing these to me. I'll make an omelette in his memory. It will be salted with my tears and peppered by my grief. Sorry, I haven't time for pleasantries. We're having a bit of a crisis here. This is Deep Crag Den, a Kwama mine. But something's gone wrong. Some kind of fumes have filled the mine and the Kwama are going crazy. They're attacking the workers. I've been making potions to counter the fumes, but I'm running out of ingredients. My husband, Boro, went back into the mine. What is he thinking? I'm sorry, what did you say? Help? Yes, all right. I need aloe or redweed to make more potions. They grow all around here. You can forage for some, if you're willing. I asked Nelvin and Marolos to gather plants. They might have some, but it wouldn't surprise me if they just ignored me. The workers don't like me very much. Otherwise, check the area. Redweed grows near the rocks. Aloe should be out in the open. Thank you. I really am trying to help. Both plants will work in the potion, so anything you find will help. You saved countless lives, uncovering Ravel Urano's treachery. I never knew Kwama could be so vicious. Praise Vivek. I need to get these potions to the workers as soon as possible. I'm sure it will help. It has to. I don't know. How would I know? I don't go into the mine. Why are you asking me? I'm sorry. This is so stressful. I'm worried about my husband, Boril. He went back inside, and I have no idea what happened to my idiot cousin, Renvis. He's concerned about the workers, thinks they're still in the mine. I'm so worried. Boro hasn't raised a sword in years, and the Kwama aren't acting normal. Will you go after him? Take him these potions, and drink one yourself before you go. What a terrible waste. I hope you drank one of Adras's potions. Otherwise, this is going to be a short visit. Here's another tip, free of charge. Keep your weapon handy. I've never seen the Kwama this aggressive. It's such a waste, isn't it? You're going to have to kill a lot of Kwama to get through the tunnels, right? Letting them rot won't help anyone. Why not harvest their cuttle? It's the waxy stuff on their beaks. Million and one uses. I'll give you a fair price for it.
In all my years, I've never seen anything like this. I came back to look for my wife's cousin, Renvis, and the rest of our missing workers. But I haven't had much luck. I've been stumbling around in the dark, trying to avoid getting eaten by Kwama. But I did discover something quite disturbing. Treachery! The mine is filled with open vials spewing noxious fumes. This was no accident. I sealed several of the vials and cleared this chamber. But I can't get down to the lower levels without getting swarmed by Kwama. If you do, you'll be the hero of Deep Crack. Seal the vials in the middle and lower chambers. If you run into any miners, give them one of Adrasa's potions. And keep an eye out for Cousin Renvis. He's not the sharpest arrow in the quiver. Thanks. I'll make my way out of here.
Kwama went crazy. He wasn't supposed to be like that. Why did the Kwama go crazy? The smoke vials were a joke. She said nobody get hurt, she promised. I didn't do anything wrong, I swear. It wasn't even my idea. It was all Hidras' idea. I knew it was wrong. I promise that if I don't get eaten by Kwama, I'll go to the temple in Mournhold and pray to the gods with all my might. I'll even give gold to poor people, when I get some gold. We have to get out of here. I know a shortcut, but there's a big Kwama in the way. It went into that tunnel over there. If you poke its eggs, I bet it'll come out. Then we can run up the tunnel and escape. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. Thanks. I did a stupid thing. Idrasa gave me this necklace, so I'd do it. She said it was a present from Cousin Borrow when they got married. It's worth more than I earn in a month. She said Cousin Borrow only cares about the Kwama. She thought that if the mine got closed for a few days, he might take her to Mournhold. She wanted to dance and shop and have fun. She never thought the Kwama would go crazy. Here, take Adras's necklace. I, I don't want it anymore. I can get out through the tunnel, now that it's clear. I'm really sorry. Really, really sorry. I'm getting out of here. No more Kwama mining for me. Were you able to gather any Kwama, Cuttle? What does it matter? The Kwama had to be killed. Is it better that the Cuttle go to waste? Why pass up the opportunity to make some gold? Or are you thinking of selling the Cuttle yourself? My idea, my profit. Alchemists can't get enough of it and it's not commonly available. That makes this the perfect situation. I won't apologize for being pragmatic. You fetcher! It was my idea. Fine. I'll give it to Borel. I'm sure he'll pat me on the head for being so loyal and honest. Who needs all those annoying gold pieces cluttering up their purse anyway?
You're back. Is everything all right at the mine now? Then you know what I did. I can hear it in your voice. It was foolish and dangerous. I'm so ashamed. I've been trying to make up for all this by helping the injured workers. It was a gift from Borel. If he sees it, he'll know I was involved. Please. I deserve to be punished, but I don't want to lose Borel. If you don't reveal my part in this, I promise I'll find a way to make up for it. What have you decided to do? Oh, Alexia, bless you. You won't regret this. I'll help Borel and the miners. I'll even stop complaining about the Kwama, and I'll certainly never do anything so foolish ever again. Did you find any clues? Why would someone poison Deep Crag Den? How strange that someone would do something that senseless. Thanks for your help, friend. The mine will be working again shortly. We'll keep an eye out for trouble in the future. Husband, you work too hard. Let me help. Don't worry, dear. The potion you concocted has been a great help today. I'll help all I can. I'll gather more plants in case I need to make more potions. When this watch is over, it's the corner club for me. Duty to the tribunal, all day long. I know you. You were in the sewers, right? You saved me, didn't you? I don't remember much, but I remember you. I came to Mournhold a few weeks ago, to visit some friends. I guess word got out that a Telvani was in the city, because I suddenly found myself tied up in the sewers. The Moorborn. They kept badgering me about Daedric magic. Are you really so naive? House Telvani rejected membership in the Ebonheart Pact. We remain isolated pursuing our own interests along the Telvani coast. That's just one of the reasons the other houses distrust us. Members of House Telvani are known for their knowledge of all types of magic. I guess they assumed I could make the old wards active again. I did what they wanted, eventually. It was either that or... I don't want to think about it. I only know what I heard. I think they were planning an attack of some sort. They sent off a large group just before you showed up. I told all of this to the Sacred Lady. She said you would visit me and I should tell you to find an Ordinator. I don't care what you believe, but I never heard of the Morborn before I came to this vile city. And I certainly had no intention of betraying the Tribunal before they threatened me. 